it's impossible to learn a language without learning the culture. So if you're out here trying to learn any language, I don't care what language it is, you need to also learn about the people who speak the language. Welcome back to Big Texas Boston. I'm your host, Lelani Wilson-Jones. This is the show where we're spilling the Texas tea on the bosses that I know. It's time for Big Texas Boston with Lelani Wilson-Jones. Spilling the tea on Boston Up. Welcome back to Big Texas Boston. Elevate your business in 2024 with K. Wanda Lamb's Spanish for Black Girls. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for joining us today, Kamanda. Oh, I'm excited. Thanks for having me. Yes, yes. So you have a business mm -hmm. that is for black girls who want to learn how to speak Spanish. Yes. Yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Okay. Hablo con, con uh, ellos. <laughs> me encanta. Es un placer. <laughs> Hola a todas. Hola a todos. <laughs> All right, so my name is Kay Wanda Lamb. I'm the CEO and founder of Spanish for Black Girls. It's a course plus community for professional black women. And so I decided, you know what, black women, pandemic, so much was going on. I saw so much happening, you know, in the news. And I was like, how can I help us? So I've been right. a seasoned educator for the longest. I was working with entrepreneurs and I was like, you know what, I want to help us. So I decided to create a course plus community, something different, right? Not just something you take Take on your own but to be able to come in and work with other professional black women who look like you right okay. and so it's just been so much fun i've been doing it uh since 2021 and um we're at www.spanishforblackgirls.com oh that is awesome so tell us why we want to take the course well i mean if you're a professional even if you've just wanted to learn i have people who are like i need it for business people who need it for work and then some folks are just like i've always wanted to speak a second language um we're here in texas and it's our second unofficial language i mean if we're all Absolutely. honest right yeah and so um i just I, I saw so many women coming in um, because I used to work with people only one on one, right? Before I created the course. And so I would have business owners, you know, international, domestic, and they would say, hey, I'm having trouble talking to my vendors. I'm having trouble talking to my patients. I'm having trouble, yes. you know, when my Spanish speaking staff leaves, I'm left holding the bag. Absolutely. And that's when they started, you know, wanting to work with me. And um, I had more people just coming and saying I, I would love a course format. And I decided, well, I'm going I'm going to go a step up. I'm going to give you a course, but I'm going to also give you what you really need, which is community and practice. Right. We've all heard of people using all the apps and they've been right. on the apps for years and they're still not fluent. Listen, hint, hint. You need a teacher, kids. OK, you need a teacher, ladies. And so. Um, you know, that's that's why. I mean, I think you know if you need to learn Spanish, right? Right. It's, it's personal for each person. But it's just been so much fun doing. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And Spanish is a fun language. Mm -hmm. I can say that uh, for the little Spanish that I do know. It's <laughs> you just did good. Fun. You were like, habla con ellos. Okay. <laughs> Talk to them. Claro. <laughs> yes. So, uh, where did you learn your Spanish? Oh, wow. Ooh, hace muchos años, many years ago, I started with a business degree at the University of Louisiana at Monroe. So, I'm from Louisiana. Okay. And I was a business major. And when I got to college, they were like, you need two years of a foreign language to major in business. I was like, okay. I've oh, had wow. Latin. I've had French. I'm going to take Spanish. And I just pulled it out, you know, just like that. Just made that decision and started taking classes in undergrad. And um, I wanted to minor in Spanish, and I ended up graduating and working for a mortgage company. And uh, this was like early 2000s when everybody in the U.S. started outsourcing, right? They started okay. like, you know, opening up businesses abroad and, you know, competing with, you know, U.S. workers, right? right? We were talking about, oh, we're losing our jobs. They're putting them overseas. Remember that talk? Well, my company was doing the same thing, and they had opened up an office in Venezuela. And oh. so they had this whole division dedicated to people who already worked for the company who spoke Spanish. And I said, oh, I want to work over there because that was going to be more money. I was a mom, right? I went back to school. They paid for it. And I got my bachelor's in Spanish. And the rest is history. Okay. That is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, you know, I have to tell that story because um, I think people forget, like, um, 
in order to be able to help business owners, I myself was a business management major and I've worked with so many business owners across like different industries right. that it just started making more sense to me. Oh, I see where the gaps are, right? I see how you can use Spanish in your business and then I can show you how to learn in less time than it took me, right? You don't have to go to school for four years. And I also studied abroad in uh, Costa Rica and in Peru. Okay, that is wonderful. So tell us a little bit about your format. Is it online, in mm -hmm. person? Is it a hybrid? It's what? online and it's okay. hybrid. Yes. Okay. Because we're all busy. And right. you know, remember, I have people who are domestic and I have folks who are international. Um, so it's hybrid. So with the course, you can log in anytime you want. Because oh. I'm on Central, I have clients who are on Pacific, people who are on Eastern, and like I said, people who are outside of the U.S. And um, as long as you have access to a computer, you can log in, you can start learning. And the reason why we say it's hybrid is it's not just you learning on your own. It's not just you in a program, right? We meet um, bi-weekly every month so that we can have time to practice and communicate and build that community. And so you get coaching from me. It's like group coaching. Okay. Um, you get to ask questions. I check your homework. There's so much inside the course because I'm an educator. I spent, you know, 16 years in the classroom. And um, I knew that the way adults learn, you don't have two, three, four years to learn a language. You need to right. learn now. So everything I do is in 90 days. You can oh, join wow. the course and you can finish it in 90 days. Right. And be fluent enough to have Absolutely. conversations. The conversations wow. in the scenarios that I teach you and pretty much to use everywhere else in life. I'm telling you, it's so good, y'all. It's so good. <laughs> um, and people think like, really, am I going to be fluent in 90 days? So let's talk about it. I call it situational fluency. Okay. okay. Like means, a situation ship. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So like, for example, I'm not a rocket science scientist so i'm not going to teach you any spanish about being a rocket science i'm gonna teach you the spanish you need what do we need it for we need it for travel we need it for right. everyday life we need it for relationships we need it for family and friends you know i teach you the spanish that you need and uh it's so good i'm, I'm so proud of it it's so just every time we meet i look at these beautiful black women doctors attorneys project managers people in the medical field folks in real estate wherever they're from right just all gathering together sisterhood just excited to see each other and to practice their spanish you know and everybody's on different levels right but at the end everybody should be at the same level because okay. we've all gone through the same process right so it's so good awesome so does everybody get there or do you have a few Baby, that look as no helping Listen, you? you know everybody don't get there. And I'll be like, listen, if y'all don't log in to this course, because let's talk about that. I'm glad you said that. Yes, because right? people may think, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and that. And then it's, you don't have a syllable right. It's so, well, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's so personal. Learning a language is so personal. And then I think... For some folks, they bring in stories from their past, like, oh, I'm not good at Spanish, or I'm not a good student, or my teacher in high school was, you know, whatever. They have all these blocks. And so to help them with that, one of the things I, I actually do before you get started learning in the course is I go over mindset, right? I also have a section where I help them create their schedule. So I do everything I can to make sure you start off on the right foot and you keep going on the right foot. But, um, you know, some people have asked me, they say, can you guarantee I'm going to be fluent? I said, well, can I guarantee you going to come to class? Can I guarantee <laughs> you as a grown up are going to log in and do the process? I said, if you do the process, then you will have so much more Spanish than you would trying to teach yourself with these apps, trying to buy everything, you know, find everything on the Internet. Like people have been doing. I have some people who've been like, I've been trying to learn Spanish for 10 years. I'm like, sweetie, stop it. Come on over here. It's all in one place. Everything right. you need. And, you know, just get the help and the support. So um, I don't guarantee people are going to be fluent. What I guarantee is that my stuff works. And if you go <laughs> through the process, <laughs> if you go through the process, I got you. And what's so funny is I, um, I check in on my students because I love to, you know, I, like I said, I was an educator. I used to have 200 kids a year, 200 students a year and I have 30 something kids in a classroom I knew where every last one of those kids were I could look at them hear them tell what they needed I do that same thing with my adult clients so I can tell if you've been doing the work I could tell where you are I could tell where you stuck 
right? Right. And um, those are the benefits of having somebody like me who has a master's in Spanish literature, not just an oh, undergrad, wow. right? Who's taught university, who's worked with, you know, business owners, who's taught, you know, native speakers, and I've done diversity, equity, and inclusion training. I mean, so okay. you're getting the real deal when you work with Spanish for black girls. And um, I keep going over that because I want people to, to know that it's not Oh, I didn't just like Spanish and I thought I'd teach other people. No, I'm a certified educator, right, um, with all of the credentials that we need. And I've been doing this a long time. So when I say I can teach you the Spanish you need in 90 days, honey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Get it done. <laughs> let's get it done. All you got to do is show up. Show up for yourself. Right. How yeah. many students do you usually have at Ooh, one time? Well, because it's a course plus community and people can join at any time, right. what happens is um, right now we have about 40 ladies in the course. And they don't all show up um, for every session that we have because they may not need it, right? Because some people started longer like a while ago before others because we have two plans we have a six month plan and we have an annual plan but when we're all on it's just so beautiful to see and so um i'm excited i'm excited to see their growth i'm excited to see their journey and we can hold hundreds of y'all so don't even think <laughs> don't even think right that because, there's a limit well no, no no there's not a limit because there's there's opportunity for everybody to ask their questions there's opportunity for everybody to get support and what i'm actually building is a lifestyle business right okay what i decided is that you know what i want to teach people spanish and i want to do it from anywhere in the world oh, right wow. so this course plus community allows me to be i'll be in mexico in two weeks and you know they can reach out to me if they have questions i'm available you know right. and um I, we have a trip to spain next year and in january i'm taking a group of spanish for black girl students to costa rica so we do international immersion and uh nice that when i tell you those ladies are going to be ready and we are not we're not slumming it y'all we're like right. living nice <laughs> when we go to costa rica because everybody's professional we're all adults Right. So I, I put a lot of work into creating the program. OK, so, so what does that look like uh, for the program? For the for, for the interested? immersion, for yes. the immersion. OK, so the immersion is separate, a separate cost. Right. Um, but uh, we spend eight days, seven nights in Costa Rica and we'll spend five days in the city. And of course, after I have worked them hard, taking them everywhere, guiding them around, making sure that they're using their Spanish that they've learned in the course in real life scenarios, mm. right? Every day I've planned, you know, tasks for them to do. We have some training in the morning and then we go out and we live because the best way to really get them past that fear of speaking is for them to have no choice but to speak. Hands right? on. Right, hands on. And then we're gonna spend uh, the weekend at the beach. I rent a villa and uh, we just get to enjoy beautiful nature and you know, just enjoy each other. I'm gonna have a private chef and oh, it's wow. so good, honey. Yeah. yeah, sounds like you all kick They it. can mastermind <laughs> and the friendships that are built with a trip like this, the connections that they build, that's another thing that comes out of this. You know, when everybody starts introducing themselves and saying what they do when we have our live sessions, everybody's like, oh, I need your number. Oh, I need this. <laughs> oh, I have somebody that I need to connect you to. Right. It's, it's those unexpected things from being business owners, entrepreneurs, career professionals, all converging and having that safe space as a black woman, right? There's so many women who are just like, I love this. So um, also I give them the option to renew. Remember we have a six month plan and an annual plan. Right. And we have students who come back. Students who are okay. like, okay, I'm listen, you're stuck with me for life, K Wanda. Okay. Because I'm like, <laughs> girl, you got it, but okay. Right. Because they want to do the trip. They want the sisterhood. They want that connection. We do great things around culture every month. Um, because and I'm gonna tell y'all out here this, right? Um, we used to say this when I was in school. It's impossible to learn a language without learning the culture. So if you're out here trying to learn any language, I don't care what language it is, you need to also learn about the people who speak the language. And so we also provide um, insight into culture every month in Spanish for black girls. Yes, ma'am. Y'all listen, ladies. I you are doing you know, it. So what it. type of activities do you do as far as the culture? Well, we have something called Culture Night. And Culture Night is always something different. Um, I have my language coach who's from Mexico. She works with me and my um, other brand, which is called Spanish for Small Business, where we work with 
actual business owners, teaching them Spanish specific to their business. And I bring her over to Spanish for Black Girls. So they also see the Spanish they're learning from Kaywanda is a Spanish native speaker speak, right? Um, and then they also get to practice with her. She brings, I, I tell her what I kind of think we ought to cover. And then she creates a little bit. Um, last month we did a movie night and they loved it. All right. Okay. So we're watching a movie together in Spanish. And of course we question, we, you know, build activities and exercises around that. Um, one of the things I want to do is food. So yes. we'll get together and cook, right? They get to learn recipes in Spanish. It's just so much when you think like you've learned everything there is to Spanish, we like to show you a different side. Okay. For um, Valentine's Day, we talked about dating because everybody isn't married. All right. It's 51 million native speakers. Do you want to know how many are bilingual, Lilani? How many? 10. 10 million. So it's 41 million wow. people who need you. Right. 41 million people <laughs> who every day they need to buy the same things we buy. They, right. they need to go to the doctor. They need attorneys sometimes. They need to go to the bank. Who's going to help them if they can't communicate and they have money to spend? Right. right? right. They need the hair products. They need the, the makeup. They need all the things that we have businesses that we offer. Everything. So how are we tapping into that market? Right. That's the question that I have for people. And I say, hey, you can say I'm not good at this or I'm not good at that. Or you can invest in yourself and get the support. Absolutely. Yeah. And I say invest in yourself. Yes. <laughs> Altruist Home Health Care is one of the top accredited home health care agencies servicing North and East Texas. With over 25 years of caring for Texas families, Altruist Network of staff has become the preferred provider of physical and occupational therapy, wound, post-surgery, and primary care within the comfort of your home. Altruist Home Health Care works in conjunction with you, your loved ones, and your primary care physician to provide stellar care with honor and integrity. For more information on our services, visit our website www.altruisthhc.com or call us at 214-328-8600. Now back to the show. Typically, I have someone that's bilingual and can help, mm -hmm. but uh, lately we haven't. So it is a challenge uh, because certain families just want Spanish speaking mm -hmm. people or they want the comfort of it. So mm -hmm. it's hard when you don't have somebody that's bilingual. Now, in my daycare centers, mm -hmm. um, initially when I started, most of my staff was Spanish mm -hmm. and that's what they spoke. Um, and so, you know, it was easier then to pick up on it and mm -hmm. have them working. But the ones that only spoke Spanish, you know, you had to, like you said, meet them where they were. Exactly. And what's next is continue to grow, continuing to grow Spanish for black girls. Like I want to okay. see 100 women. My goal is to eventually over the next 10 years reach 10,000 black women. Oh, and wow. that's a small number. That's a small number. It's a lot of us. Right. So right. we got room. That's why I was like, honey, come on in here. As we grow, everything else that we need will grow. Right. You know? Absolutely. So I'm excited. That's what I'm working on. Well, that is amazing. I also heard you like to cook. <laughs> claro que sí. <see. laughs> I'm a Louisiana girl, honey. I'm picky. And um, if I go out to eat and my food isn't good, ooh, we, you know, because I'm like, well, you know, I'm nice and polite about it, but I'm just like, y'all, I could cook. I came out here to give you my good coins. Right. And so I do love to cook. One of these days, um, I'm, I'm hoping I'll have like a little cooking show or something, but okay. I'm trying to figure out my little timing. What do you like to cook? Oh, I love soul food. I love uh, Asian food. I love Italian food. I like all kinds of cuisines. Okay. But when I tell you, your girl can bake. And, um, you know, one day, I, I know we don't like Paula Dean no more, y'all, because Paula <laughs> cut up a little bit. But I used to want to have a little show on Food Network. I almost like... Um, apply for the next Food Network chef when they were doing that. So yeah, just just all kind of cuisine. But I'm a soul food girl. I can cook with my eyes closed. I can teach Spanish with my eyes closed. Okay. So Wonderful. Now, you know on YouTube there is a uh, soul food cooking network. Ooh. So yeah, that might be something you can participate in there. and join in a class. Yeah, cooking with AB and some of the other chefs are on there some I of the love it. I yeah love youtube it. chefs so definitely get on there and share now one thing about me though since we're talking about cooking i'm one of those folks that i'll look at a recipe i gotta read it like 
I'm not really a recipe cook. Okay. You know, I was talking right. with my grandmother who was born in 1926. So, you know, you just mm. put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know it's right. <laughs> but I also, you know, know how to follow recipes. And so I can look at a recipe and tell if the food's going to be good or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're like that, but I'm like, mm-mm, that's too much of that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I can cook. So it's not a problem yes, to deviate yes. a little bit from the recipe. So what's your uh, favorite cuisine? Well, I like cooking soul food. That's what I'm best at. Mm-hmm. But I do cook Italian food. I don't, and Mexican food. Yeah, You know, those are the other two that I cook. I, I learned how to make um, Mexican rice, and y'all can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Do you hear me? When I said, I was like, oh, so we just got to like toast. We got to brown the rice a little bit first. We got to add our little tomato sauce and some chicken and broth, baby. It. Y'all messed chicken up broth. when y'all let me know. <laughs> and some seasonings. So, so what do you like to bake, though? Because oh you said you're a baker. Cakes, 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 cakes. Oh, and I'm okay. a fabulous praline maker and oh, rice wow. crispy treat maker yes okay. ma'am so okay. my boys when thanksgiving is coming up oh goodness pies coconut pies ah pecan pies lemon pies lemon meringue oh wow banana pudding oh I, oh yeah my grandmother was like i said she was born in 1926 so I learned how to cook at nine, and by 14, I was pretty much running the house. Okay. Which you feel proud of as a kid, and then when you get older, you're like, so basically, I did all the work. What do y'all, what? Right. right. I feel like, like I, I miss my childhood. <laughs> I miss my childhood. <laughs> you don't realize it. Cooking in this grow. kitchen. Cooking in this right. kitchen. But I, I, you know, I think the reason why I love it is because I got to enjoy hanging around the adults. Right. And um, I'm one of those people that when you eat my food, I want to see your reaction. Okay. You know, one of my girlfriends, she was like, hey, one of my girlfriends who grew up, and she, you know, she was like, I learned so much through you and your family. And she's like, Katie, when you eat her food, like that's my nickname. She's like, y'all better let her know if her food is good or not because she is waiting. <laughs> 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 and so, because you know, it's it's that love. It's I think it's that way. People have their different love languages. Right. So cooking, if I cook for you, it's like a gift. You know. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I understand. So I like having friends over. I like entertaining and. You know, just having good food, like right. doing brunch. I have the girlfriends over. Everybody cook. Okay. So, what's on the brunch menu? Oh my you goodness, we're us. gonna do a little salmon, una <laughs> salada. We're gonna do a little salad, a little salmon, maybe a little. Um, I have a girlfriend who makes the best sweet potato hash, oh. and she gave me her recipe. I was like, so y'all got me like a sweet potatoes with some onions. Oh my gosh, sounds Goodness. good. So good. Um, I've discovered this herb mix at Trader Joe's, which has mm-hmm. cilantro mixed in with arugula and spinach. Mm. And when I tell you it is that with some mango and some sliced peaches and some feta, oh. a little balsamic. Oh, oh yeah, man. honey. Sounds good. Sounds <laughs> wonderful. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so, so, so what's funny is being able, so what I like to do, and, I, and I'm going to take this back to Spanish for just a second. What I want people to be able to do is for all the areas that they want to use Spanish to be able to use it in. So cooking, you know, once you learn Spanish, reading recipes in Spanish becomes easy. Cooking in Spanish becomes easy and it's even fun. So notice how I said salmon and then salada, right? right? So salmon and and (laughs) salad salad. and, you know, mango y durazno, right? So just just have fun, have fun with the language, have fun getting to know new people, Um, have fun connecting with your extended family members. There's some people who, you know, they have you know, either they've married into someone, someone's family who's Latino or Hispanic. Right. And so now they get to have soul food and how the other side eat. You know, what right. a blessing, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yes. I have so. I have an uncle. Um, so one of my aunties is Filipino. Okay. And when I tell you, like, years ago when they got married, she was in the kitchen cooking. I was like, what is this auntie is cooking? It's just, it's so good to be able to taste different cultures. Right. Oh, and absolutely. the different foods. I don't remember what the name was, but when I tell you it was so good. So anytime <laughs> Auntie is cooking, I'm like, Auntie, I'm listen, here. give me a plate. <laughs> so, so please, 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 um, even with the language, obviously, I talk about, you know, work and, and commerce and things like that. But just connection and friendships. Like I have friends from all over, Peru, Spain, Honduras, Mexico, Colombia, people I've met, whether in school or in travels, and who've become friends, who are people that I hang out with throughout the year, who invite me to 
you know, special moments that are happening in their life. Right? Yes. And you just get to just enjoy person to person. And I, of course, I'm always the only black person, <laughs> black person in there speaking Spanish. But it's and my boys have gotten to see that, you know, my children have grown up with their children. And, you know, it's normal. It's right. not there's no there's no racism. There's no difference. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just friends hanging out. Right. And nice. some of us speak in English, some of us speak in Spanish. And it's just it's a normal practice. And I hope that more people will start to do that and show their kids like, hey, this is how we forge friendships. Right. Listen, I'm from Louisiana and my grandma used to say, you never know who you're going to need. So oh, absolutely. Build these friendships. Right. Well, thank you. It's been amazing talking to you. Oh, I've enjoyed the experience. This has been so good. Thank yes. you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything you want to leave the viewers with? Ladies, listen. Go right now to www.spanishforblackgirls.com and grab my freebie. Right, even if you're unsure if the course is ready, um, is it is it if you're unsure if you're ready for the course, um, right now, grab my freebie. It's going to teach you the top 40 phrases you need to know now. And follow along on the email list. Check me out on Instagram. I'm always teaching like a new word of the day or phrase of the day. Um, and when you're ready, send me questions. You know, I, I'll respond to you in the DM. You can send me an email. But we got you. Tell your friends and come see us at Spanish for Black Girls. Nos vemos. Thanks for tuning in to Big Texas Boston Podcast. If you like these conversations, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on all social media platforms at Big Texas Boston. Tag us on social at hashtag BTB. Like